And the floodlights are shining down on the players here in the Spanish capital of Madrid. We're at the Bernabeu. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's the opening contest for the two teams in this Champions League season. It's Real Madrid facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Eder Militao in central defence. Federico Valverde plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Introducing the Borussia Dortmund side, Gregor Kobel stands between the posts. Nico Schlotterbeck plays alongside Valdemar Anton in central defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And they kick off here. Jude Bellingham. Aurelien Chouameni. Very quick thinking there. Zavita. So close to finding the net. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline. So a throw in here. Jude Bellingham. Decent looking pass. Well, the ball back with Dortmund now. Brandt. Threaded through by Mbappe. To take the lead. A magnificent stop. Well, it should be a goal, but take nothing away from the keeper. That's a brilliant save. That's all.
Daniel Malen. And offside it is. The fact that Jude Bellingham can do just about everything, he can score, he can set up chances, he can defend. What do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, he combines so well with his teammates, he really does link everything up. If he plays well, so do the team. going to be a Dortmund free kick <laughs> Ben Sabaini Daniel Malen Oh, managing to beat him. But stat defending what it mattered. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. danger here really fine piece of defending play to break us up Malin well that's a good save but really he should have scored from there that's a big chance corner played into the box the keeper takes the ball but the main thing is he held on to it the goal scorer but you have to ask questions of the keeper he's got to have that near post covered for me no wonder he's frustrated with himself back underway here and a wake-up call for the Hussia Dortmund you would think Daniel Malen for well, the perfect tackle really and now a throw in Promising pass. Is this the moment? Real chance. It's got to be. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see. But unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. So on 
underway once more. 2-0 the lead here. Daniel Malin. It's a weighted pass. Malin. Now with Brandt. Really good build-up, but no end product. Really closing him down. Daniel Malin. Oh, that's splendid play. Just can't get it past him. Kamavinga. On the half-time interval, fast approaching, and it's so far so good for Real Madrid, certainly. Stuart, your assessment? Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players has been excellent. I've also liked the movement of the strikers. They just now need to take this forward into the second half. Valverde. Will he play it in? And the ball is loose. That's the clearance that was needed. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Daniel Malin. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Girassi. Plenty of space for this Dortmund attack. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. And that is that half time here on the Spanish capital. Well, there aren't too many players quite like Vinicius Junior. And I know you've enjoyed his performance up to this point, Stuart. Yeah, he's been brilliant, hasn't he? He looks such a threat every time he gets the ball. And, of course, he scored a very good goal. So back in business, the ball is moving again. It was a below par first half effort from Dortmund. Will things be better for them in the second? Real Madrid coming away with it. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. off them here are they being too passive oh could easily have been a brace for him well the way he's playing at the moment i thought he would score there he's been a constant threat Can someone get on the end of this? And knocked out of there. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick.
towards the back post. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Schlotterbeck. Rami Benzabaini. Daniel Malen. Girassi. And Real with the ball again. Jude Bellingham. It looks promising. And a little too close to the keeper in the end. Plant. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Certainly not alone. Mbappe. Now with Valverde. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Rami Ben Sabaini. Strong but fair tackle. Mbappe! Still a chance. Could be troublesome. Julian Rioson. The ball with Zabitza. Valdemar Anton. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. And playing it through. Rami Benzabaini on to Gross well, doesn't have to do it on his own that's a good ball and Dortmund exploiting the space on the flank Brandt and a good looking ball well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity Jude Bellingham was the chance they could get caught out on the break here and Lucas Vasquez is through nicely saved Rioson snuffing out the danger could be threatening technique as you can see he just wraps his foot around the ball and bends it beyond the keeper that's a good goal well if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome surely they now have been removed Emre Can We've entered the final five minutes. Dortmund sloppy in possession here. Eduardo Camavinga. And going for goal! Our keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Marcel Zabitza. But with it. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. 
Dihasi. Deep delivery. Ah, goalkeeper's ball. Not the best of crosses, really, was it? And that is all. Borussia Dortmund have gone down here on match day one. Not exactly what they had in mind to begin the Champions League campaign. Well, it's not the start they wanted. It puts them under a bit of pressure going into the next game. They need to bounce back now. Well, we know Vinicius Jr. stands for excellence. When he's on his game, he can be devilishly difficult to stop. And that was the case here. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far, far too sharp for them. Always looking to play on the shoulder. Took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.